Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem from chapter 13 Engineering Dynamics. Uh, in this problem it is said that the conveyor belt uh, delivers each 12 kg crate to the ramp at A such that the crate speed is uh, 2.5 meter per second, right? So at this particular point the crate uh, speed is 2.5 meter per second, right? So let me write that VA is equal to 2.5 meter per second. Further, it is said that if the coefficient of kinetic friction between each crate and the ramp is 0.3, determine the speed at which crate slides off the ramp at B. Assume that no tipping occurs and theta equals to 30 degrees, right? So this incline is making 30 degrees with the horizontal. So we have to find the velocity of each crate at this particular point B, right? And the distance the each crate travels from A to B is 3 meters, right? So we can write that that S is equal to 3 meters, right? And the initial distance, let's say, is the initial position is, let's say, 0. So first of all, <coughs> I will draw the free body diagram for one of the crate, right? So let's say that the, this is one of the crate. So weight will be acting vertically downward right so this is the weight of this crate which is mass is 12 kg so the weight is 12 into 9.81 and the surface is applying the normal force right so we will have that normal force of the surface of the incline so let's say that is equal to n and since the crate is moving towards this point b that is the downward the incline down the incline the crate is moving so what will happen is that uh, uh, there will be a friction in the opposite direction right so this is that friction and this will be equal to uh, mu k n right and mu k is 0 0.3 times n right and this is accelerating the crate is accelerating downward right so let's say this is a x right and this is my positive x direction and this is my positive y direction, right? Parallel to the incline is x and perpendicular to the incline is my y direction. So now if we apply the equation of kinetics, if we apply the summation of the forces along y axis is equals to m a y and as we know that the crate is only moving in the positive x direction so this means that there is no acceleration along the y axis so this means that this will be equal to 0 so the summation of forces along y axis is, is equal to 0 right so if now if i extend the line of action of this normal force here so as we know that if the incline is making 30 degrees uh, with the horizontal then this weight will be making 30 degrees with the with the normal right and if we uh, resolve this weight into its components right so it will have two components we will have one component of the weight like this this one will be the cost component this will be 12 into 9.81 cos of 30 degrees and similarly we will have one another component will be acting in this direction this one will be the sine component right so let me write that this is 12 into 9.81 sine of 30 degrees, right? So now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, so as we can see that this n is acting in the positive y direction, so I will write n minus this cos component. This cos component of the weight is acting in the downward direction, that is in the negative y direction. So we have to write this is 12 into 9.81 cos of 30 degrees and this will be equal to 0 or from this we can say that normal force is equal to the cost component of the weight of the crate, right. Now if I apply the uh, summation of forces along x equals to max, right. So as we can see that uh, this sine component of the weight is acting in the positive x direction. So I will write uh, 12 into 9.81 sine of 30 degrees 
and this friction is kinetic friction is acting in the negative x direction so i have to write minus 0 0.3 into n and this is n right so we can write that this is 12 into 9.81 cos of 30 degrees and this will be equal to the mass of the crate the mass of the crate is 12 and ax right so from this equation we will get ax right so if i divide both sides of the equation by 12 so we will get that acceleration so now when we solve this so ax is equal to 2.356 right so this is ax so ax is equal to 2.356 meter per second square right so now we know the acceleration of each crate uh, down the incline so now we can find the velocity at this point b right if we apply the equation of kinematics right so we have this equation v b square equals to v a square plus 2 a x s minus s naught right so v a is given we have to find v b so if i take the square root so we will be able to find v b and v a is given which is uh, 2.5 so 2.5 square plus 2 a x is now known which is 2.356 s is 3 and s naught is 0 right so 3 minus 0 is 3 so this will give us the velocity of the crate at point b this is 2.5 square plus 2 into 2.356 into 3 so the velocity at point b is 4.5 515 so we b is 4.515 meter per second so this is the solution of this particular problem kindly like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet